Hey guys, Clayton here, and today I am finally <laughs> getting you this AIMD Lab 3D printer review and kind of be showing you how things work. Currently, I bought myself a little nice light so you guys can see it as it prints, but today we are going to be printing this cat um, defense weapon. You know, the ones that are on little keychains? Yeah, we're going to be printing those. So it looks like right here, as you can see, it's ready for the SD. So we're going to come over here to the 3D printer and we're going to grab that SD card. Smack that bad boy into here. And there's some other things that we got on there. So we're just going to close out of that. We're going to hit save for SD. We're going to hit save. And you're going to click on your disk. And we already have a cat on here, so I'll just overwrite it. Okay, now we will go down here. And I always safety eject, so I'll find it right click. There you go. Where's that? Hang on, hang on, hang on, guys. Oh, there it is. And we'll go eject. Now it is ready. We're going to remove the SD card. And we are going to plug her back in. And there's a switch right here. Powers the bad boy on. Oh man, that sounds amazing. It sounds like what you want. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It doesn't sound bad, but. Oh. Okay, actually, it's not good. Uh, we're gonna restart and give that another go. It actually froze up on me. I think it's still frozen. Huh. Awesome. Don't know what's going on. I will be right back when I figure out the problem, guys. Alright, well, I'm back, and I finally got the printer to restart. All I did was I unplugged the power supply for about a couple minutes. I think all it was is that something crashed, and I had to reset the battery. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to hit this round button here, and let's see if it'll focus. And it'll bring up this menu. I always go prepare first, auto home. And that's going to bring the printer to the origin point. Just to ensure that we're going to get a nice clean print. Oh, I guess I should turn my studio light back on. There we go. Alright, now that that's been done, you're pretty much ready to go. I'm going to go main, and then you're going to go, well, I thought I put it, oh yeah, I took the SD card out. So we're going to reinsert that SD card. Print from SD right there and then you're gonna choose your print and you're just gonna scroll down with the wheel and you'll hit it and now your 3d printer will start preparing the extruder in the bed and all that good stuff now I'll come back once it starts printing and I'll have you on a tripod and we'll have a nice little uh, time-lapse of everything so I'll be right back guys. oh my baby got me staring at you so I'm crazy want you bend that back for me we won't stop, got your feet both locked You get to flop with me I can take you down for a ride I take you around my life Jaywalking, crosswalking, lip blocking But you, I know it, you know it Watch you bend that back for me 
we won't stop Got your feet both fly You get to fly with me I can take you down for a ride I take you around my life Jim walking, cross walking, lip locking But you, I know it, you know it We make it After about an hour of printing, our printing has completed. So let's go ahead and just already nice and popped off. And there's our cat stabber. Obviously, if you don't know how this works, the mouth goes on your keychain and you put your fingers in here, and it's very sharp. You can actually defend yourself. Lots of women and just people in general I've been seeing with these, but this is kind of like a smaller one, you know, like kind of a smaller grasp on it, smaller stab, but yeah. And I, I don't think it'll be breaking anytime soon, so pretty solid. Um, honestly, this PLA is pretty strong. Now let's go over some things that I do not like about this printer. Let's set you down. Um, first design flaw I see is your spool. When it's uh, printing, it has to pull material, correct? But if, let's say you have a spool, this one fits perfectly on here, and the spool will spin just fine whenever it needs to pull material. But we have printed other um, PLA material, just same stuff, just different color, and the spool doesn't very really spin very well. So you'll have to constantly monitor it and pull spool or it will essentially get stuck and it won't print correctly. Your print will get all messed up. So that's one like basically design flaw that we've come by and it really sucks if you actually use the sensor. As you can see, we've kind of bypassed it by putting just a piece of uh, material through it because if we didn't then <laughs> then it really kinks and it really really will pull um, other than that though everything seems to be good um, the X and Z axes are ran by rubber belts which aren't the most accurate but they get the job done for only four hundred and fifty dollars your Z is actually probably your most efficient with the screw like uh, lifting um, other than that though, the printer comes with all this here, it comes with the software that you'll need to run it, and it also comes with a glue stick, which I have somewhere in here. Oh, and it comes with this nice little pry tool, because if you use a glue stick, it will get stuck to the hot bed. So, the bed gets set to about 100, or no, the bed gets to 55 degrees Celsius, let's just turn this bad boy on, it's been a minute. Yeah, the bed gets to, oh, it doesn't say it on there, the extruder I know is 195 degrees Celsius and the bed's 55 degrees Celsius, so in Fahrenheit, don't touch the extruder, it's extremely hot, it's like 380 something degrees Celsius, which is the extruders right there, do not touch that bad boy, the bed's fairly touchable even though it's hot, it's like 100 degrees or something like that, but I think I think that's all I have to tell you about guys. Overall, it's a fairly well machine. I know we were having some problems when I first booted it up and I think that's just because we've been using it so much and like non-stop. So other than that, I don't have any negative reviews except for this spool design and I actually want to reprint this. This is actually 3D printed. A lot of the materials on this 3D printer like this right here, 3D printed. This, 3D. This has been 3D. And I want to redesign this because if you take a look here, it's kind of a square. If it were round, most of the spools would move better. So this thing is, I mean, it's a good, like, it's a thought. It's a good idea, but it's almost like they need to put a little motor here that would feed material. Because right now, in the state it's in, it would get kinked and it won't pull. It'll just completely screw your print. We've had so many prints that we're like, what happened? and it just turned out to be that problem. So, as long as you guys do the little bypass that we do, you guys should be fine. That is my review of this AM, uh, whatever the hell it's called, review. 
Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell to get all the notifications on my new videos. And peace out, guys.